welcome you all to this service. We pray the Lord will bless our gathering in Jesus' name. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. The college for purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and for whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The glory are in excesses together. Glory be to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. Praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the only one, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments and all the law and the prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, Family resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. The confession together. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness through our own deliberate fault. We have now officially walked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. They collect the Old Testament reading, the psalm, the Epistle and the Gospel for the 23rd Sunday after Trinity. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful Father, your Son Jesus Christ healed the stick and restored them to fullness of life. Look with the compassion on the anguish of the world and heal the affliction of your people through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Please sit back for the Old Testament reading. 
the Old Testament reading is taken from 2 Kings chapter 20. We commence the reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 20. Reading begins at verse 1. In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos came to him and said unto him, Thou saith the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die, and not live. Then he turned his face to the world and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept sore. And it came to pass, afore Isaiah was gone out into the middle court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Ezekiah the captain of my people, Thou sayest the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee on the third day, thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord, and I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hands of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs, and they took and laid it on a boy, and he recovered. This is the word of the Lord. Please let us be on our feet as we take this up. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 8, shall be read alternately. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 8, shall be read alternately. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. Who forgives all your sin and is all your infirmities? Who satisfy your pain with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's? He made known his ways to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The portion appointed for the epistle is Acts of Apostle, chapter 9. We start the reading from verse 32. Now it came to pass, as Peter went through all parts of the country, 
that he also came down to the saints who dwelt in Lydia. There he found a certain man named Anas, who had been bedridden eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Anya, Jesus the Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. Then he rose immediately. So all who dwelt at Lydia and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. written the fifth chapter of the gospel according to St. John, beginning at the second verse. Now, there is in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, a pool in Hebrew called Bethesda, which has five porticles. In this lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man was there who had been here for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled. And while I'm going another step down before me, Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. This is the gospel of Christ. Please be seated. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks for today. We appreciate you for this first Sunday in the month of November. We appreciate your mercy on us. Lord, as we go into your word, speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus. We ask the Lord to strengthen us to pray through as we enjoy healing in your arms in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ever living Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord for the grace He has given to you and I to be here this morning. And in the same way, I want to give thanks to God for the privilege given to me by Father in God, the Dazidan Bishop. We pray that your episcopacy will continue to work stronger on daily basis in the name of Jesus. And the grace of God will be always available for you in the name of Jesus. We welcome you all and is our prayer that the strength to pray through to enjoy response from our creator in the name of jesus this morning without wasting our time the theme that we are to consider is the prayer answering god the prayer answering god but this morning will be healing through prayer healing through prayer and our test is second kings chapter 20 verses 5 and 6. 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 5 and 6. Turn again and tell Ezekiah, the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will heal thee, 
on the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. And I will add unto thy days fifteen years. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hands of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Reading through all our passages this morning, I want you to note that something is constant there. And that is healing. God attended to Ezekiah the king. Jesus asked him that man that has been sick for 38 years if he wanted to be made whole. And also Peter ministering to an ass on healing. And I pray for somebody with faith this morning. In this month of November, your healing shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. And I want to start on this note by saying, if there is a man that can pray, surely there is a God that answers prayer. And for the sake of um, understanding, better understanding, prayer is a spiritual communication process between man and God. And I love the definition of Charles Spurgeon, which says, prayer is the natural outgushing of a soul in communion with Jesus. A natural outgushing of a soul in communion with Jesus. In our today's test, that is 2 Kings 20 verses 5 and 6, it was clearly noted that we have an assurance of God's reliability of responding to the request of his people. I saw Ezekiah, the Bible says he was terribly sick. And God raised his prophet, Prophet Azar, to go and minister to him that he's going to die. That is, he put his house in order. But the Bible says he did something. He went inside and he prayed. And the prayer answering God, the most dependable God, wiped away his famine tears of cry. And he answered his prayer. He healed him. Not only that he healed him, he also did what? He restored him and he blessed him with long life. And I pray, God of heaven and earth, we bless us with long life in the name of Jesus. He will also rescue us from every terminal disease in the name of Jesus. Psalm 103 verse 17 reveals to us that God's mercy and righteousness to those who fear him made God to be committed to answer the prayer of his people. Then without wasting time, what are the conditions for us to receiving answers to our prayers? If we have a reliable God, what are we expected to do as an individual to enjoy blessings of responses to our prayers? The first thing we need to note this morning is when you are asking or praying, it must be in the name of Jesus. You ask or you pray in the name of Jesus. So many of us, we have bastardized the act of prayer which is a communion between you and Christ. We use the name of individual. That's how we, 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 we pray. But this morning, according to John chapter 14, 13 to 14, it says, And whatsoever ye shall ask, you ask in my name, and that will I what? That will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. It's not just limited to that. In John 16, verse 23 to 24, the Bible says, If you ask anything, in my name, I will do what? I will do it. Meaning that if we want to enjoy a response to our prayer, we must pray in the name of who? In the name of Jesus. And I pray our prayer shall be answered in the name of Jesus. Amen. The second thing, the second conditions for us to enjoy answers to our prayer is when you are asking, you must ask in faith. You ask in faith. You ask in faith according to James chapter 1 verse 5 to 6. You must ask in faith. Uh, uh, the third point, the third condition, is when you are asking, you must ask in accordance to the will of God. You must ask according to the will of God. First John 5, 14 to 15, corroborated this, that anything you want to ask, it must be in line with God's desire. It must be aligned. Your prayer point, your prayer, you know, your asking must be aligned to the will of God. Then it will answer you. Say the confidence we have in you is that whenever we ask anything according to your will, you, it does what? He answers us. And I pray we answer you and I in the name of Jesus. The first point is ask with forgiving heart. When you want God to answer your prayer, you must ask with forgiving heart. You must not be holding grudges to your neighbor. 
He even said, according to that Mark 11, 25 to 26, that whatever, when you remember you are having issue with your neighbor, just drop your point, your, 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 your pledges, your offering, go back and settle your grudges. After you must have settled your grudges with your neighbor, then you can come. Most of us, the reason why our prayer has not been answered today is because of un un unforgiving hearts. When you are having issues with your friends, with your husband, with your wife, God can never answer you. For your prayer to be answered, you must ask with forgiving heart. And the fifth condition is you must abide in God and His Word. You must abide in God. How does that mean? By you keeping the Word of God and obeying it. And that is what John 15 verse 17 says. If you abide in me and my Word abide in you, you will ask whatever you, you, you need from me and it shall be done to you. And that is what the scripture says. Also 1 John 3, 22 to 24 also corroborated this. Now the sixth point on how to receive answers from God, the condition, is you live a productive life by preaching the gospel and winning souls. You must venture into the business of God. Then God will be happy to do that which concerns you. And that is what John 15, 16 says. We have various examples of people that God actually answered their prayers in the scriptures. We have Ezekiah. Because with listing out this example, I know your name also will be included before the year also on death. You will also testify to the goodness of God. And you will also count on His faithfulness upon your life in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel prayed for healing. And God healed him. He did not ordinarily heal him. He blessed him with long life. For 2 Kings 20 verses 1 to 7. Also prayer, Peter prayed. The Bible says he prayed for that sick and ass. And, he, and the, the sick and ass received his healing. In that act of Apostle 9, 33 to 34. What about Anna? And I also pray for his son in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 10 and God answered her. God made her happy. What, what about Elijah for the demonstration of I said there will not be rain for his city for three and a half years. The Bible says he prayed fervently in James 5 17 to 18 and the Bible says God honored his prayer. He answered him. God of heaven we answer your prayer also in the name of Jesus. The prayer answering God answer all those heroes and heroines of faith. And I pray it will also do the same in the name of Jesus. But brethren, I'm encouraged this morning to persuade you not to lose the confidence you might have towards him because he's, uh, he's almighty, ever-dependable prayer answering God. John says, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If you are convinced that the almighty hears you in whatever you ask, then you know that you must have the request you have asked of him. That is 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. What is that particular concern in your life? What is that amen in your life that has led to burden and distress? Why not take it to the Lord in prayer? As a church, what are the sorrow, persecution, loss and issues and daydreaming are winning the word for God? Why not take it to the Lord in prayer? As a nation, we all know that we are terribly sick of corruption and killings on daily basis. We know of different suffering we are facing. Apostle James says that those who are suffering and are sick, they should pray. And the prayer of faith will save them. There is a standing principle of faith, which is push. You pray until what? Until something happens. You have been nagging and complaining. Stop all this. Try prayer. And the prayer answering God, as he has promised, we surely surprise you. We know not what prayer cannot do. All good is born in prayer. And all good springs from it. That is just, just Spurgeon saying this. We know not what prayer cannot do. All good is born in prayer. And all good springs from what? From prayer. Are you saying, I have been waiting in prayer for a longer time? John 5 answered that. I am happy to tell you that you are closer to your breakthrough. Just don't give up on God in your prayer. Try more. Because, because you are the next on the list of the praying answering God. Bow your heart as we pray. Most holy, merciful and gracious Lord, we ask thee to mercifully answer all our prayers and heal us of all our diseases as we journey through this month of November, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. In response, 
to the message shall we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed we believe in one God the Father the Almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God eternally begotten of the Father God from God light from light true God from true God begotten not made of one being with the Father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man for our sake he was crucified that point of Pilate he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. Believe in one, holy, Catholic and Apostolic Church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us appreciate the name of the Lord this morning. Today is the first Sunday in the month of November. Bless God for the grace he has given unto you to see the light of today. And pray unto God this morning, Lord, visit me with your miracle and blessing this week and this new month. Talk to God. God visited that man at the pool of Bethsaida. Lord, this morning and this new month you will visit me with your miracle and your blessing will be upon me i pray unto god again lord heal me in all areas of my life this new month in the name of jesus in any area you want god to heal you is in your academics in your finances in every area Lord, heal me. Let there be total healing in the name of Jesus. Let us bring a prayer to a close. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promise through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Henry, our primate. Humphrey, our archbishop. Baba Tunde, our bishop. And all your church in the service of Christ. That those who confess your name may be united in your truth. Live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy. Bless and guide our rulers, especially Muhammadu, our president, Yemi, his vice, Dapo, the governor of Ogun State, Oba Adedeji, and Olori Ekundayo, Onogurua, the ally of Udogolu, Shuaib, the executive chairman of Udogolu government. Give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that people may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another, and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, 
and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In one word, can you ask what you want God to do for you this new month as you go? This new week, what is your request to God? With thanksgiving to God and with assurance in our heart that God has answered all, let us bring a prayer to our close. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept this prayer. Just, just Christ. Amen. May we all rise. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please wave to yourself as a sign of peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer with the heart has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Together, yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is indeed right, is a duty and joy 
at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise holy father heavenly king almighty and eternal god through jesus christ the only son our lord for he is your living word to him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image to him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on earth. Through him you are sent upon us, your holy and life-giving spirit, and made us a people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks as we start this new month, praying that you will lead us in your righteousness. You will minister to our needs. You open the heavens upon all our endeavors in the name of Jesus. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please kneel as we continue in prayer. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and gave you thanks. He broke it. And gave it to his disciples saying. Take. Eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this. In remembrance of me. Amen. In the same way after supper he took the cup. And gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with his bread and his cup is one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink this holy gift in the presence of divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you on earth and in heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is in all the communion of the body of Christ and the cup which we bless is in all the communion of the blood of Christ. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Together on our knees, shall we say the prayer of humble access. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dead Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, 
that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Draw now with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. The Lord be with you. Please kneel and let us pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The second prayer together. Thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be our living sacrifice. Send us out to the power of your Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. pray. Father, we thank you for your children. Thank you for your grace to see another month. We pray this morning as a diocese for all those who are in covenant with you, all those who have given to support your work. Lord, we pray they will not lose the reward in the name of Jesus as they go in the month of November. All that they lay their hands on. Father, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. They will never lack. You will supply all their needs in the name of Jesus. And our covenant with you this month is that we shall dance a new dance. Is that we shall have a new joy. Is that newness shall be revealed upon our lives. Is that, Lord, we shall have a turn around. Father, give this to us in the name of Jesus. And in all things this week, we pray that you will strengthen us. You will uphold us. You will give us the delight and watchfulness of your spirit. And in all things as we seek you, we may know you more and more in the name of Jesus. So that we shall live our lives even to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Christ in you, Christ in me, Christ in us. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you.